that right there, that stop light on the right side that doesn't work. So we gotta take that off and replace it. Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. So my little quick fix that I got today is uh, this tail light right here. Tail light, it's a dual uh, turning signal and stop light. Uh, my wife was driving it and she says she put on the turning signal and then it started blinking really, really fast. I had to check out, see if it was the front or back. And she says, seems like this one right here. So we tried it here. I, I'll show you guys right now. You see that one there? Yeah, it turns on and this one doesn't. I might end up having to replace this actual entire assembly it looks like the water's getting into it. it looks like there's water condensed in there maybe that's what the, got it out but here let me show you guys it's, it shouldn't be too bad so just open up the back and it has two covers covering the actual screws that are in here just take a quick uh flat screwdriver pop that open anything here pop that open and it should have a seven millimeter screw in there so yeah, I did look this up before I, I have my stuff ready. So let me get this out of here real quick. And that should allow us to bring the whole housing out and replace that, that actual light. Okay, so I've taken out both seven millimeter screws from here and here, and this entire house should pop out. Oh, look at that. Whoa. All right, so there's the connection for the side marker, the stop light. So it should be pretty easy here. If we just twist this to the left, it should come right out. There we go. Whoa, look at that nasty. Oh, it actually broke. Oh, it did. How did, did that, that happen? I don't know. I think the water. I think I'm going to have to replace this housing. The water got into it. So here, we just kind of hold on to the housing. You know, don't scratch my car. No, I'm not. I'm not. We'll go this out. Otra vez. <laughs> and then let me put this in here for now. Put it back. Oh, get the new one. Okay. Alright, let me just place it here. I can show you guys the other piece. So here you go. So see? here's the actual bulb. It's actually broken. Let me see it. Oh, and actually says it on there. See, seven seven four four three, which is what I got. Seven four four three. Okay. Get place. Go fast. No okay. gag. All right. So, you know, they say don't touch it with your skin. I got gloves on, so we're good. All right. So twist this to the, to the right. You should be able to just go ahead and, and connect this back on here. I don't think there's any, you know, like right way or like, I think you just snap it on there. Turn it to the, the to the right now, just like that. And you should be able to go ahead here. You know what? Let me test it out before we put it all back in. Let me hit the, the button and see if it works. Yeah, oh, look yeah. at that. Finally. So we don't get a ticket. It's been asking night. you for the past two, three weeks. <laughs> I had to make sure I get the right one. Yeah, what's going on, my fusion? I know. I need to get. I need to get on it. I haven't made a couple videos, and uh, and uh, I need to make a couple videos on my truck. I'm just brainstorming, guys. You got ideas? Tell me what y'all think I should change on the truck now. Cause I'm I'm trying to get trying to get more ideas, but you know, there's only so many things you can change on the truck. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So just to put it back, just kind of follow back the, the same way that you kind of placed it in there. 
and then be careful with your... Is it supposed to be out like that? It, it'll come back oh. once you put it all the way through. But I think that's the reason that the water's getting in. I think the seal yeah. broke. Because you can see how that's conden condensing yeah. on the inside. So I'm going to have to replace this thing. So that'll be something else later on. All right, there we go. Yeah, because see, it doesn't, you're right, it doesn't go all the way in. It kind of stays out. Mm -hmm. I think that's why the water's getting into it. So if it burns out again, it's probably more likely because this housing is, is it went bad. You can't just take this off and like clean it, dry it, and then put it back in? No, because you it, the way it's sealed, it, you can't take it apart. I see. You'd have to actually have to break it. Really? Yeah, and then seal it back. So at the prices that these cost right now, you might as well just replace the entire thing instead so of now? trying to fix it but okay that's it that's just putting these seven seven millimeter screws back in here and we'll be done all right so we went ahead and finished putting in these screws just putting back the little covers here and we're done all right, so we're about to try the turning signal just to make sure that it also works. Which it should, it's, there you go. We're good, it works. Yeah, same. No more uh, fast blinker. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching guys. Uh, went ahead and it just took about, I would say 10 minutes at the most. You know, just putting in the uh, the bulb, taking out the housing, putting the bulb, and then checking just to make sure that it works. So, uh, again, thanks for watching, and I'll, I'll make sure to try to uh, <laughs> make more videos soon. So, I'll give find ideas things. ideas yeah, what to do Give, on give your me truck. ideas if you guys got some ideas, and I'll continue to make some videos. Um, I got a couple of ideas that I'm thinking about now, so I'll go ahead and, and um, you know, start kind of planning those out. But thanks for watching, and remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.